This video is about using the mod function for systematic random sampling. What is systematic random sampling? So if we go and we're looking at a list, in this case, this is account numbers, balance owed, gender, reasons for non-payment. So I have 30 people that I'm in charge of. These are my accounts. And I want to sample every third person on the list. So I want to sample this person. So I'm going to go down three more. I'm going to sample this one and then this one and then this one. Well, that's great and fine and dandy. And if you only have 30, it's fairly easy to come up with who your 10 people are going to be. But how can we have Excel help us figure out that out without having to go ahead and delete lines and do pieces like that with just using the functions built into Excel? So let's go ahead and look at the mod function. So the function that we're going to be using is basically one that allows us to find what the remainder is. So in our example, I said that we're going to find every third person. So let's say I take the number 5, and I'm going to divide that by 3. Well, 5 divided by 3 is going to be 1 with a remainder of 2. I'm going to take the number 12 with 3. Well, 12 divided by 3 is 4 with a remainder of 0. Let's take the number, let's say, 13. And that one is going to be 13 divided by 3 is 4 with a remainder of 1, right? So equals mod of 5 divided by 3. What is the remainder going to be? The remainder is going to be 2. That's equals mod. And we want 12 with 3 for the second one here. And we're going to find that our remainder is 0. So equals mod with 13 comma 3. That remainder should be 1. So if you'll notice between these two here, it always picks up what the remainder is going to be. So how can we use that? So let's go ahead and go ahead and number these. So we'll just go ahead and come up with customer number here. So I'm going to do one, two, three. Let's go ahead and um, have that go all the way down. Um, I did that by if you do one, two, three, and you double click on the little bottom corner, it will fill them in to the bottom of your list. Um, sometimes if that doesn't work, you have to do copy paste. Then the next thing I'm going to do is do the mod feature in this one. So the mod number on this one. So equals mod, we're going to take the number 1, but instead of doing the number 1, I'm going to use a cell reference and say go over 1 to the left. So take E2 and divide that by 3 and tell me what the remainder is going to be. So that would be a correct statement. So I can go ahead and do the same thing here. If I just want to copy this one, I can, since I'm in a table mode right now, I can just double click and you'll notice I have one, two, zero, one, two, zero. Well, six divided by three is two with a remainder of zero. So every third one of these has a zero on it. Now, if I want to do a, and again, there's many ways to do a, a sort. So we're going to go ahead and do the data tab. We're going to click on sort and we're going to sort it by mod number. Well, as soon as you do that, you'll see that I now have picked customer 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. I've picked every third customer. So whether you pick every fifth customer, you just do mod 5 and mod your cell reference comma 5 and we'll, and then you do a sort and it will allow you to pull out your every third customer or every fifth customer, whatever you're looking for. Hope that helps and there'll be more in the next video.